So today we're working on this bush hog here for my buddy Steven the mechanic. Say hi Steve! Hey! Hey! Yeah, and uh, looking at this, the way it was assembled, this is something that I've wanted to show you guys for a while. This is the problem with, uh, with MIG welding. Probably short circuit, possibly spray arc. It's kind of hard to tell because this is so dirty and rusty. But basically we've got a big old cracked weld here and it goes all the way around this thing, or it's starting to. It's made it halfway up this one side already. And this is a classic case of what happens when a guy welds too cold and uh, it doesn't fuse into this bottom plate and then, you know, the thing goes through years of vibration and shock loading and surprise, surprise, the weld starts to fail. So looking at this, if we look close, you can see the crack appears to have originated in the crater of this weld, which is normally a weak spot, and then it just sort of goes to the bottom tow line. And what's happening here is uh, whoever welded this, they probably didn't reinforce this crater enough. You know, it, most of you guys know, as you're welding along, you kind of stop, you want to stay there for a second, second and a half, maybe two seconds to fill up that crater uh, to prevent things like this from happening. But it looks like that's where the crack started. And this weld was clearly done too cold. And the way you can tell, if we look at, in this case, the bottom tow line, there's a sharp ridge right here where the weld meets the base material. So you can tell it wasn't melted in there. It wasn't fused in there all that well. And this is, uh, this is the problem with, with MIG welding. It's really easy to make nice looking welds that aren't really all that sturdy. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this cleaned up. We're gonna take some of this metal out of here and then weld it up with some really hot dual shield flux core uh, wire. 